Good morning everyone, I bought a desk. Hello everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is actually Wednesday the 6th of January and we're in a lockdown again. <laughs> I did in fact order a desk a couple weeks ago. In fact, I ordered a desk probably like a week ago. Didn't expect it to arrive until near the end of the month. However, it arrived this morning. It is here, it is heavy, and it's also in a wooden box, cage type thing. So I don't really know how I'm gonna get it open. This is currently what the desk is looking like. I'm hiding that box, it has the uh, address on. Um, but as you can see, there's literal wooden nails, like nailing it all together, then it's in cardboard. It's like a glass, in fact, I'll show you when it's open, you'll see exactly what the desk looks like. However, I don't really know how to go about getting these open. Like, I don't wanna get splinters in my hand. I might have to find like a hammer or something to try and prise it open. This is what the desk looks like. And as you can see, it's all like one piece. So I don't have to build it or anything. Just as we took the Christmas tree, down. It's snowing! You can't really even see it on my camera. Oh, it looks like it's gonna snow for a while as well. Look at the sky. It's such thick flakes as well. Wow. The ground's wet though, so I don't think it's gonna settle. But literally, we took the Christmas tree down earlier. And this is the remainder. We need to, um, I need to take it to my house actually, so next time I go home, don't know when the hell that'll be, but I'm gonna take it with me and put it back in my parents' house, just so we've got somewhere to um, keep it. But this is the current situation. Oh, bet this is my mother. Bet this is my mother. Hello, we snow in here! It's good, isn't it? It's such thick flakes here. Yeah, what else you do? I know, yeah, wow. Right, so I understand how a hammer works, and I understand that if I do this under the water and like lever it off, it'll come apart. However, the table's all glass, so I don't want to do that onto the thing and use the pressure of this part of the hammer on the table to pop the wood off because it's glass, so it will smash. So I don't really know how to go about doing this. I feel like I'm gonna get a splinter in my eye. Right, this is more than likely not gonna end well, but I've got one side off, so what I'm gonna do is continue doing it and try and get it out, and then check back in with you and show you what it looks like once I've actually got the wood off, because then I've gotta take the cardboard off, and then I can see there's some polystyrene in there as well. So, it's been probably like an hour's time when I'm like, finally got this fucking thing out. Right, so I finally, after probably like 40 minutes, no exaggeration, in fact, I can tell you exactly how long it's been. Uh, 38 minutes, you can't see that, but I've been listening to David Dobrik's podcast now for 38 minutes to get it out. Basically, I started doing it with a hammer, but as you can see, it's a glass desk. So, I, like I said, I didn't want to put the pressure onto the glass to get the wood off. So, it just took forever. Uh, I need to still take these bits off, but I don't want to take these off just yet because I'm picking it up and still figuring out where to put it. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm gonna put the desk on this wall and then this cabinet on this wall just because I feel like that doesn't look right being like that. I don't know, I feel like, I also don't feel like I'd wanna sit there when I'm working. I feel like I'd just drive myself insane. Anyway, um, that situation, I would like my desk here. However, I can't really move this because it's just gonna to be too cluttery and annoying to move that. So yeah. Right guys, this is the current situation. Something about it I'm not feeling. I feel like I'm gonna get, basically my plan is to get like an actual desktop Mac so I can actually work from my desk on a desktop Mac and then I have my own laptop and I can separate like my work from like everything that I do for other people. I'm out of breath, I literally just like moved all the stuff around. So this is now the current situation. I've got my shoe closet in this little walkway, which is kind of cool, like, I kind of like it. And also like for photo backgrounds, like outfit photos, I feel like it's kind of cool having that in the background. But then this is the situation with my desk. I of course need to get a desk chair, but the desk chair that I I actually want is out of stock right now so I'm currently just having this situation looking like this um, but yeah I don't know if I should dress that table like I've got things on here that I can dress it with so I don't know if to like put some stuff on there just to make it look a bit fuller or what to do but this is the current situation I'm gonna have a little play around I need to actually edit so I'm gonna sit at my desk I'm gonna plug in my hard drive and I'm gonna get to work right guys I'm sorry I'm kind of blown away by technology right now look at what the fuck is happening on my phone so I'm looking for a desk chair on mid and I found one and I was like oh my god I don't know if it's gonna work in my room you can AR like view it like turn it around everything wait it's not turning around why is it not turning around oh my god so I just turned it around to fit it under the desk to see if it would actually fit and um I'm sorry but what the fuck since when has this been a thing like, I can literally walk around and see what the damn chair would look like in my room like are you actually kidding me do I get this desk chair? I think this is kind of cute. I feel like people are going to definitely comment being like, oh my god, that's definitely what AR is used for. I have never ever used anything. Sorry, I'm blown away. I've never ever used anything that's been so practical. Like, I've obviously used AR things in the past, but just like silly little Snapchat filters and stuff. I've never actually... Why is my skin all like this? I've never actually used something that worked and was functioning and was great and actually was helpful. So I'm kind of blown away by that. However, now I am currently going to write out my New Year's resolutions. I haven't done the jar yet, so I want to do the jar. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's 
it's literally right there. I'm gonna write all my New Year's resolutions. Me and Haz said we were gonna do this on New Year's Eve and we just never got around to it. So I'm actually gonna sit here now, write my New Year's resolutions to put in that jaw. But how fucking crazy is that? I need to order this desk chair. However, I've never ordered from May before and it says that the delivery time is 10 to 15 weeks. Now obviously with COVID and everything I do expect it to take a little bit longer than it would normally do but I don't know if... Is that a good idea? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I feel like I'll want it before then. Anyway, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna do these news resolutions and then I shall get back to you. <laughs> Um, hi everyone, so I forgot I was vlogging today. Uh, I really haven't done much. I wrote my New Year's resolutions, wrote Friday New Year's resolutions, put them in the jar, had some Ben and Jerry's ice cream, had some pasta, and now you're all caught with my life. Has this here on the sofa as well. And now I need Has to find me an earring to put in my nose. Basically, I lost my nose ring the other day because it's half a hoop and it always falls out. And I ordered one off Amazon. I thought, all right, I'll just go straight into Topman and buy a new one. We're in lockdown, darling, I forgot. So I need to, I've ordered one off Amazon that comes in a couple of days. However, I feel like my nose piercing is going to heal up. Tried to put an earring in it, but stupid me, when I got my nose pierced, obviously they pierced it with a stud. Um, do not want one of those. Pierced it with a stud and I took it out the same day and put in a hoop. So now it's healed like this shape. So I can't fit a straight earring inside and I don't have any hoop earrings or anything to put in my my ears, so how's this currently? Fake that's not gonna fit in my ear. Like. How's this currently trying to find me something that I can just put in for the meanwhile uh -huh. whilst um, mine actually arrives? And for some reason, I don't think we're gonna have anything. Should I put this big massive thing in? <laughs> There's loads in there. Uh, this is what happened to there being loads in there. What's this organization you've got? Like, how is this? Walk me through it. Uh, I've got hoops and then I've got beads. I've got bracelet beads and necklace beads. I've then got runaway beads that snapped <laughs> while I was on holiday. I've got chargers and clickers. I've got big jewels. And then I've got uh, <laughs> my gay earrings. <laughs> I, I swear I had hoops somewhere. Oh, 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 here. Oh, oh, oh. What are you, fucking hell? Look at that. That's not a fair one. So everyone, as you can see, I am now sucked up in bed, I'm in bed, it feels so nice to be in bed. My desk is, mm, uh, I don't know what I'd rate it on a comfort level, just because obviously my desk chair is a kitchen chair right now, so it's not the comfiest. I mean, it's cute, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, she's cute, but I need a desk chair. So I need to find that the hunt continues. I did actually, obviously you will see and saw the one from Made, but he said it's going to come in 10 weeks, and like, I don't have 10 weeks of crippling back pain and a lot of editing to do to get it in 10 weeks you know what i mean like i want it three to five working days part of me is joking but also part of me isn't like i am joking about being such a con but also like i'm not at the same time because i would love my desk chair to be here earlier than it's saying anyway i don't know why my lips look this big but i'm kind of loving it because we are in lockdown and also i haven't had filler in my lips for two years and they're looking plump. So maybe I'm having an allergic reaction to something. Maybe I'll wake up in the morning and my face will be really swollen, who knows, but I am gonna hit the hair. It is quarter to one in the morning and I need to get some sleep. I've not finished editing Saf's video, so I'm gonna have to wake up early and do that and finish it and send that over. And then I've got to film and edit a video to upload tomorrow for my main channel because I wanna get back to uploading two videos a week. So I am gonna film tomorrow. That is the plan, that is the situation. It has need to cut with my hair, so I guess I'll just see you in the morning, bright and early when I'm actually, I'll probably look a lot worse than this. So, see you then. Also, we got a complaint from my neighbour upstairs today. Bye. Don't say I didn't tell you so. I told you I'd look worse this morning, and it's correct. The truth be told, the truth is out. Everyone knows the truth now. Right, so I just went down to collect post. My nose ring has arrived. I bought it from Amazon just because I didn't know where else to get a nose ring that I could get like next day delivery. Um, so, I'm hoping it actually fit and it's the right size because I had to like there's loads of different measurements on it and I literally since the day I had my nose pierced have not bought oh I think it's gonna be too small sick I've not bought a nose ring I think this is gonna be too small oh Lord Jesus this is definitely gonna be too small <sighs> right I'll check in with you in a second when I've actually got this in I think it will go in actually um, so 
Just want to put a disclaimer out there, I did in fact give up doing my nose ring because it will not go through. I think the actual thickness of the bar is too thick or the inside of my nose is healed up. Either way, I've ordered another one off Amazon so it comes tomorrow, so hopefully from tomorrow I will have my nose ring back in. I don't know if this is a myth, but I was told growing up you can't have your nose re-pierced in the same spot like I didn't I don't think you can pierce over scar tissue or something I don't know how it works basically I don't want to have to get it re-pierced one it fucking kills and also we're in lockdown so can't get it done anytime soon uh, but now I'm cutting my hair Hazard's literally just shaved the sides in the back of my hair which is all good all Gucci I am now just cutting the top of my hair so I thought I would just vlog I actually forgot I would vlog in I'm like oh I can pick up my camera document this moment because people always ask how I cut my hair and how I do my hair so so this is how I just get random pieces and chop it off. <laughs> if any hairdressers are watching, I do apologize, but this is what I just resorted to, you know? I wanna get like an actual barber at some point and I will do that, but for the past three years, this is what I've done. And then we just wing it and hope for the best. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing this throughout my whole hair and hope that I don't live to regret. My decisions. I always do though. Like, I do this every time and think, why the fuck did I bother doing that? Like, why? To be fair, I like my hair to look really textured, so I do chop into it as much as I can just because I have pinched straight hair otherwise. So I do like a little bit of a choppy, messy look, but I feel like there's a right way and a wrong way to do that, and I feel like I am doing it the wrong way. Right, this is my lunch. <laughs> I don't know if I'm about to 